Hello YouTube, Mr. Evans here with my vlog number 119. Today is Monday and the time is uh, 8.15, which is very late. I'm here way, 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 way too late. Um, but, um, yeah, and especially when you consider that I didn't even get most of my grading done. It's, it's not good. Um, I'm very behind for me, you know, for other people maybe it'd be okay. Um, bleh. I don't know. Um, but to be fair, I didn't get to start with grading until a little later because today was Anime Club, which I'm very excited to tell you about, but I'm going to save it for the end. Um, but still, it was kind of hard getting in the right headspace. And uh, yeah, to check in about the day, overall, the day was actually really good. Um, but the low moments punched me really hard, Met metaphorically, <laughs> of course. Um, and so, I actually, like, as I was grading, it was really hard for me to get myself in the right headspace. Uh, and, yeah, I actually ended up having a panic attack at one point, but didn't sink into depression. I was sad, I was upset, um, but I did a mindful sit, and then I was okay. Um, and as I believe I have, uh, mentioned before, you know, I think there is a difference between depression and, and sadness, and I feel like, you know, with sadness, it's something you can pull yourself out of, and depression resists that, you know, so it was sadness. Also, uh, something for me to go ahead and tell you right now, because I might be doing this wrong, uh, I got a new uh, light, I got a ring light. It is right on the outside of uh, the frame, at least it should be, that was how I set it up, but I might have jostled the camera a little bit when I pressed record, so. Um, I apologize if you can kind of see the edges or if the lighting looks weird. I don't know. It's my first time doing this. I've wanted one for a while, um, but I needed, I, I just kind of didn't really have the reason to get one. Um, and then, you know, I, I, it turns out I'm kind of going to want one for um, an event I have coming up in Anime Club. So it worked out pretty well, I thought, um, to, you know, use that as an opportunity to go ahead and and get one, so I did. Um, and it came in today, and so I hope it looks good. Hope the lighting isn't weird. I had it off to the side earlier, and it didn't look very good. Let's go ahead and just read the wonder quote of the day, because I do like this one a lot. Um, it comes from Confucius. To know what you know and what you do not know, that is true knowledge. And I think that this is um, so accurate, YouTube. It, it's very... <clears throat> It's a very thin line to tread, especially when it comes to classroom management, but also, of course, in teaching. I think there's times where you think something. As a teacher, I think something, right? Maybe a student asks a question, or maybe I'm led to a certain point in a lecture, and I think I know something, but I'm not sure. It's very tricky. Like, what do I do? Do I throw out my hands and say, I don't know? And in some cases, that's the right thing to do, to say, um, I really don't know the answer to that one. Let's look that up afterwards. Um, versus, you know, basically saying, well, here's what it is. Or, in some cases, kind of giving the simplest answer, even though you know that there's a more complex answer out there. It's, um, it's a very slippery slope. Um, but I think it really applies when you get to classroom management. Uh, because it's so hard, it's so, so, so hard to know everything that happens in your classroom. In fact, I, I would even go as far as to say it's just not even possible. Um, but there are certain things that you do know. And I feel like oftentimes knowing which one is which is where you run into trouble. Do you know this student is lying to you? Or do you just think they are? Um, do you know that this student threw that piece of paper? Or do you just think they did? Uh, a big one that, uh, that comes up a lot is, is phones. Um, and a big part of, I think, knowing what you know comes from experience, right? Like, I like, wow, did she just put her phone underneath her leg? I'm not sure. But the thing is, now, I've seen that so many times that I know that that's the first reaction for most of them. They're afraid I'm going to catch them with their phone, goes right underneath the leg. And then I say, hands up and stand up out of your chair. Yes, thank you. 
Um, and it's a thing where it's like, now I have the experience to know. It's not something I have to think. I can see that and I can say, that's the common move. That is a phone. I need to go deal with that. <clears throat> um, I think a great example of this popped up today in, in class. And, you know, I don't usually like to get specific anymore on these vlogs uh, about this kind of thing, but I don't think the student would really mind. Um, you know, the, sometimes humor goes a long way in classroom management, and this was one of those cases, because I knew this student was kind of was kind of goofy, and he liked goofing around. And in fact, this whole story was sort of him goofing around, so I don't think he would mind. Um, he had his phone out, and I could see that it was out, and I went over to him and I said, turn that phone off and put it away. And he said, it, 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 is, it is off, it's, it's not even on, look. And then he shows me the screen, he said, and, he, and he slides the off button, see, off. And I just kind of put my hand in my eyes and I just said, you, you can't convince me it's off by turning it off. You can't turn it off if it's already off. And like, he's laughing and his friends are laughing and he goes, no, no, it was off, it was off. I, I turned it back on and then I turned it off again to show you it was off. I know that's not true. He knows that's not true. He doesn't expect me to even think it's true. <clears throat> and a lot of times I think as a teacher, there's a lot of power in being able to know that you know something that you don't think the student, that the students won't think you know, right? Like if a student says a curse word in, in Spanish, you know, um, I can be like, knock that off. No, I didn't say anything wrong. No, I know what that word means and I don't want to hear you using it. A lot of times it's, it's very powerful hearing that because they thought they were safe and then they realized, oh, maybe I shouldn't, maybe I shouldn't push um, because that, that teacher knew. So there is a lot of power in, in just knowing what you know. And this is something I've sort of hinted at before in this vlog, but I really do like that quote. Like I said, the hard moments today really punched me hard. Um, and I don't wanna, I don't wanna, I don't wanna get into it, um, because then it'll just be me ranting and, and that won't do any good. Um, I wanna talk about the things that made me smile because there were a lot of those. First of all, I got so many compliments on my haircut. Um, which, you know, I had done this weekend, you know, one of the students liked the, the fade in the back, and other students were asking me if I dyed my hair because it looked lighter, and I got to say no, just with a new cut, I can kind of tease it back, and then you can see the, the lighter underside. Um, so it's just really, really cool. It, it was really nice to, to, to hear that, you know, because it's like, I didn't get my hair cut for them, but I knew that they were going to be seeing it the most, and I think even beyond that, looking at your teacher as someone who deserves to get a compliment for having a good haircut, that's kind. It's very kind. And I really appreciated my students being kind today. So there's that. Another one um, was a student kind of was, was walking by my classroom. It was on my break. And, and the student actually kind of struck up a conversation with me. Again, just a really kind thing of him to do. Um, he just wanted to like talk about what had happened um, in class, and you know, we ended up talking for a while. And he, he again, just um, having that sort of cordiality between student and teacher was uh, was really really cool. Um, I think I want to talk about Anime Club next because Anime Club went so well, and I was so nervous because today was anime music and dance. But I think the way I rolled it out was pretty clever, because I started with, I, I showed them the, the anime, which I wasn't sure they'd like it, but like as soon as it was over, the students were like, is this on Netflix? Where can I watch this? I said, it's, well, I think it's on Hulu. And like a lot of students, yes, I'm on Hulu, I can watch it. It's just like, this is so great that, that the kids liked it, because you never know if they're going to like it or not. Um, and then, the way, again, the way I rolled it out was I said, now I'm going to tell you the activity, before I even say anything, I'm just going to come out with it. I'm just going to tell you, we're going to dance. And you, you could kind of feel their kind of gets like, oh, I'm nervous. Um, but then when I described to them the kind of dancing we were going to be doing, which is watage dancing, which is not real dancing. It's just kind of what you do if you're in the crowd at a concert. Um, that's when they got a little bit more excited. And then, you know, I said, we're going to use glow sticks. And I passed the glow sticks out. And they got excited about that. So it was definitely something that could have fallen flat on its face. I kept having these like nightmares of like them just being like, nope, we're not gonna do that. No, nope, no, we're out, bye, and then like leaving. Um, but they didn't do that. They participated, I'm so thankful. Um, and they had a great time too, it was a lot of fun. 
and it was fun for me, it was fun for them. They, they took right to it, which, you know, is, is, is saying something. Well, talking is not super easy. Um, so yeah, that was great. And the last thing I want to mention was just, it was such a small thing, but it made me feel so, uh, what's the word here? Um, so cool, so, um, so awesome. Uh, even though it was like such a little thing. I'm in the middle of talking to the class and some students noticed that there was a bee in the room. And, you know, I tried to have them brush off. They're kind of like, oh, the bee is right over there. And I was just like, guys, it doesn't want to hurt you. Just leave it alone. But it didn't work. And within like a minute or two, the whole class was just frothing with, uh, with chaos, which I have to say, I am so proud of them. Not a single person got out of their seat, even when it started flying over their heads. Um, so it was, it was really, really good. And I was just, I kept hoping that it was like, you know, it would land and then they would forget about it, but it became quickly apparent that that was not going to happen. So I was just like, all right, time to implement some of my skills. So I went over to the door and I just said, guys, it's just trying to get out. And I opened the door and it kind of flew nearby, but you know, they get confused if you're indoors. So <laughs> what I said was I said, guy, hey, I, I looked up, I said, no, you need to fly, no, look, the light is in this direction, and I turned off the classroom lights so that the brightest light in the room would be coming from the door. It flew straight out the door, and I shut it, and I turned the lights back on. <laughs> the kids were like, whoa, how did you do that, Mr. Evans? One of them even started clapping. It just, it made me feel so cool to be able to be like, uh, you know, because it's, it's such a weird situation. It's not, you, 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 you can't be prepared for dealing with that, you know? How to, how to get a B out of your class. There's no part of the teacher program that prepares you for that. There's no PDs that prepare you for that. But it was just really cool to me that like I knew what to do and it was so effective. Um, yeah, I didn't panic. Uh, I kept calm and got the uh, got the stimulus out of the classroom and it and and they they thought I was cooler for doing it. So it just was like. I don't know, it was a really cool moment, even though it was kind of silly and small. So, um, but you know, the silly and small things a lot of times uh, make you feel the best. They matter the most in the long run, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and um, end the vlog there. Uh, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video, YouTube. I hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, YouTube.